Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. As promised, in today's video, I'm going to share with you how I safely remove my three weeks old braids. This is my hair that I braided um, three weeks ago. And essentially for the past three weeks, I have been mostly wearing wigs. I sometimes just wear my hair out like this, essentially. And the time has definitely come to remove them and wash my hair and basically just take off my hair as I should normally be doing anyways. I do have quite a bit of new growth because when I first put these braids in, um, it wasn't like this. So it is a pretty good sign, but at the same time, my hair is currently falling out because I'm going through postnatal shedding, which I talked about in my previous video. Um, but yeah, positive shedding is real, honestly. So I'm going to show you guys basically how much hair is falling out and you can literally just watch me undo this and literally go through the process with me. Um, in case perhaps you're experiencing positive shedding, just know that it is a real thing. And yeah, as much as it hurts to see your hair falling out like that and especially a lot of hair falling out. I guess it's just part of the process, isn't it, of having a baby. But anyways, I just know that it will eventually grow again. So <laughs> I'm not necessarily too mad because I sort of expected it. Um, and I felt like this time around, it was a little bit better compared to when I had my second child. And I'll talk a little bit more about the things that I did, um, perhaps just to help with, um, with that essentially. So it didn't completely stop causing it to shedding from happening but it just made it just that little bit less compared to perhaps what i would have experienced if i did not um put those measures in place now every time that i work on my hair guys i'm always tempted to start with the front of my hair i really don't know why i think it's probably just because i've done it so many times and it's just formed a habit or it may just be because it's the part that is literally in my face and i get to see uh, better but anyways um so i'm just sort of taking the first braid out and to begin with i did use some type of um conditioner on my on, on my hair just to soften it a little bit and then i also went in with some grease or oil just to help again with the taking out process so i was trying to minimize as much breakage as possible because one thing i noticed with the postnatal shedding especially in braids is that like i don't know how to explain it but the hair kind of gets a bit tangled um so i've i did feel like using this method just helped the hair slip out and it was a lot easier to remove without causing any unnecessary friction um i will share with you guys in another video what these two things that i used were and it's super super moisturizing and using the two together was really good on my hair so i will definitely share that so stay tuned for the next video so essentially after i've applied it to the hair just so you can see it's quite nice and soft and the hair is just you know literally just the curls are literally just opening up and it's just easier to finger detangle now notice i haven't even started combing at this point you can already see the hair that is coming out it is shedding right from the roots because essentially what I'm getting here are really long strands of hair and that's how I know that it's shedding from the roots. Now if your hair is breaking it's totally different so it will usually break like from the ends or the middle or the like midway through the length of your hair but this one is definitely coming out right from the roots. So I'm using my white tooth comb now just so I can like proper you know properly detangle remove all the shed, shed hair at the bottom um, which was causing quite a lot of tangos and knots and I really love this conditioner and oil combination that I made because it really helped with loosening um, the build up that I had on my scalp and also the um, the hair that was kind of tangled so it just made it a lot easier so all the hair that is falling out here guys is definitely from postnatal shedding not from perhaps you know not taking the hair out properly for example so as, I, as I'm combing you can see how much hair is coming out li literally so every single time that I put a comb in my hair there will be something coming out even if I was just like you know you know how you kind of like straighten your hair and pull it 
you will I, I would I would end up like pulling hair out of my hair and that's basically you know just what postnatal shedding is literally your hair just falls out um, right from the scalp and it's super super annoying now at some point I was doing the front of my hair guys I literally pulled out a chunk like a huge chunk of hair right at the front you know where my edges are that's where literally it was all knotted and all tangled there and i was thinking oh maybe i just need to take my time you know and properly detangle it just to be safe but no it was just hair that was falling out and was still attached to the remainder of the hair that was there so yeah it literally falls out like crazy you'll see huge chunks of hair in in your hands essentially look at how much hair i'm getting out of just this small section at the front like it's crazy i'm going to show you guys eventually everything that like all the shed hair that i got out and that's not even including the shed hair that i had in the bath um when i went later on to take a shower there was just so much hair that was also coming out of that um so i guess i have definitely lost a little bit more than this if you are to consider those ones as well but still i do feel like it is a lot better than what I experienced with my second child. So after I finish the tangling out section, I'm just twisting away. Then I'm going to move on to the next section and repeat. So now let's talk about what I the measures that I put in place to help me with um, maybe not getting this postnatal shedding uh, really bad, like not getting a severe one. So the first thing that I would say that I did, um, which was really different from what I did before, is that I was really consistent with my uh, vitamins. So I was taking multivitamins that had, you know, biotin in it, um, and iron, and zinc as well. And that was really, really good because zinc essentially does help a lot when it comes to um, preventing excessive shedding. So that's the one thing that I did. So I was really consistent with that. I was also really consistent with drinking my water, eating right. So lots of protein in my diet. I feel like this definitely helped to minimize the extent of the shedding. Um, yeah, I was just, yeah, I, I literally just have a high protein diet and I try my best to have that every single day. And it's also helping me lose the baby weight. Eventually, once I've got to my goal weight, I will share everything that I've been doing guys honestly in terms of like what I've been eating and all of that but anyways so yeah I'm really consistent with eating right eating my veggies you know um, having a high protein diet drinking my water and I also do exercise which again is super amazing because it improves the blood flow to the scalp which just helps to nourish your follicles so even though I'm experiencing you know um, hair fall as such i do feel like the hair that's there is probably still getting nourished and perhaps my follicles are still okay so it will hopefully grow back um in time or soon enough look at this huge chunk of hair that i got out like it's mad it's crazy and there's still more coming out look at that um so yeah there's that and in terms of like this spray i've been using um a black tea like a black tea um, spray I think I shared that with you guys um, in a video previously I'll see if I can find it and link it somewhere up here so I've been spraying that on my hair as well um, just to help me with you know reducing the amount of shedding that I get and I feel like it certainly worked but I can't really say that is exactly what has worked like that's or the only thing that made it happen because obviously I've had other things as well that I've been doing just like what I just mentioned um, but I do feel like if you're looking to reduce postnatal shedding or maybe not experience it at all I have a friend who actually said she never experienced postnatal shedding um, but if you're looking to, to experience it less or maybe not experience it at all because it depends on the person um, I would say look at your diet as well so eat high protein food food that are high in zinc be on top of your vitamins drink your water exercise just try to be as healthy as you possibly can and minimize stress i know when you just had a baby it's difficult to not be stressed especially if you have like multiple children but try your best to minimize that because stress will literally take your whole hair out this is no joke guys honestly stress will take your hair out 
like fire it will literally remove everything so it's super important that you minimize the amount of stress you go through you can do things like exercising just like i talked about meditation going out for walks you know stuff like that you know and you will definitely um see a change so at this point i had finished taking the hair out i did the rest of camera guys because yeah it was going to be so long um but yeah it kind of looked okay i feel like my hair still had a good amount of volume but obviously my edges are literally almost all gone um but anyways that's what we'll be working with for now um and this is how much hair i got out of just detangling my hair guys literally this is what three weeks worth of protective style i feel like this is definitely excessive and it's definitely putting to shedding happening so but anyways this brings me to the end of the video guys i hope you guys have enjoyed watching if you did don't forget to thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next one bye